Subacute sclerosing panencephalitis was first described under the name inclusion body encephalitis because of the eosinophilic inclusions found in the cytoplasm and nuclei of neurons and glia cells. Later it was renamed as subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. We know that encephalitis means inflammation of the brain. In the white matter, there is degeneration of myelin and axons with fibrous gliosis. And due to the presence of this fibrous gliosis, the term sclerosing encephalitis has been given. With the introduction and widespread use of measles vaccine, it has practically disappeared. It is the result of chronic measles virus infection. Children and adolescents are affected for the most part. Typically, there is a history of primary measles infection at a very early age, often before two years, followed by a six to eight year asymptomatic period. Then there is a decline in proficiency at school, temper outbursts, and other changes in personality, difficulty with language, and loss of interest in usual activities. Soon, there is a severe and progressive intellectual deterioration in association with focal or generalized seizures, widespread myoclonus, ataxia, and sometimes visual disturbances. As the disease advances, rigidity, hyperactive reflexes, Babinski signs, progressive unresponsiveness, and signs of autonomic dysfunction appear. The course is usually steadily progressive, death occurring within one to three years. The electroencephalogram shows a characteristic abnormality consisting of periodic bursts of two to three per second high voltage waves, followed by a relatively flat pattern. The cerebrospinal fluid contains few or no cells, but the protein content is increased. There is persistent measles-specific immunoglobulin G in serum and CSF. This EEG is showing some high voltage waves circled within the red circular line. And the high voltage waves are occurring at regular intervals, which is in this case about 8 seconds. This is the MRI of a patient. The first image is T1 sequence, which is apparently normal. And the second image is T2 sequence, which is showing some non-specific hyper intensities, one of which is shown in a black circle. Unfortunately, no effective treatment is available. The administration of amantadine and inocent panobex was found by some investigators to lead to improvement and prolonged survival but these effects have not been confirmed.